welcome to AW Tech Tips. My name is Chrissy Spurlock, and this video is video four of our five part series covering the Vial 4K. This video, we're going to talk about the HDP 4K SDI expansion option card for your Vial 4K. This expansion option card adds one input with one output, but each have multiple connectivity options. There are five available input plugs, which include HDMI 2.0, DP 1.2, 12GSDI BNC, 12GSDI SFP cage, and Quad 3G SDI. There are five available output plugs, including HDMI 2.0, DP 1.2, 12GSDI BNC, 12GSDI SFP cage, and Quad 3G SDI. It's important to note that the Quad 3G connection is either an input or an output, not both. This card allows for additional conversions to HDP 4K card like Quad 3G SDI to 12G SDI or HDMI 2.0 or DP 1.2 and 12G SDI or HDMI 2.0 or DP 1.2 to Quad 3G SDI. HDMI 2.0 supports HDCP 1.4 and HDCP 2.2, and DP 1.2 supports HDCP 1.3. HDMI 2.0 supports up to 18 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, allowing resolutions up to UHD and 4K at 64448 bits, 2506 by 1440 at 64410 bits, or 2560 by 1440 at 120 and supports RGB 444, YCBCR ITU-RBT.601 and 709 and 2020 color space. DisplayPort 1.2 supports up to 21.6 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, allowing resolutions up to UHD 4K at 60, 444, 10 bits. DP 1.2 is compliant with HDCP 1.3. DP 1.2 supports RGB 444, YCBCRITU-R, BT.601, and dot .709. Wad 3G SDI connections can be used either as an input or as an output and support resolutions up to 2160p60, 422 10 bits. The Quad 3G SDI connection can support 4K signals as quadrants or as two sample interleaf. 12G SDI and 12G SFP connections can support resolutions up to 2160p60, 422 10-bits. As an example, with this card, you can accept 4K60 signal into HDMI 2.0 or DP 1.2 inputs while outputting a Genlock Quad SDI output in two sample interleaf, and also output a separate downscaled 1080p copy out of the base unit. You can choose up to two of these video option cards to outfit your Vial 4K with. To learn more about the features that are added through these expansion option cards, be sure to check out the rest of this series on our YouTube page, or you can click the link below. Thanks for watching this episode of AW Tech Tips. I'll catch you next time.